first, we're going to need all of our stuff. We're going to have our hydrochloric acid, our mystery metal, and a scale that can read up to the thousandths, three decimal places. In the back, we also have our udiometer with our Erlenmeyer flask with the thistle tube connected to it and some plastic tubing to connect to the udiometer later and collect our gas. And you might also notice that the sink is full. Okay, so uh, the first step is to get a valid mass of the metal that we are going to use. And the lab says that we are going to go for between 0 0.02 and 0 0.03. So I've put a lid on the scale. I'm going to hit tear so that I do not worry about the mass of that lid there. And the amount of metal that I'm going to use is just, it's no more than 10 of these little flakes. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there at a time. And look for a mass that's just between, I'm going to go for one more. And it was just enough so that my first trial has 0 0.024. Uh, grams of my mystery metal. Okay, now for the next step, I've got after I got my metal weighed out, is I'm going to fill the udiometer with water. So we're going to turn the sink on. The sink's already full, but there are four holes in the in the stopper which actually allows the sink to empty once it's reached a certain level. So I simply fill the udiometer, uh, and there's a bunch of bubbles on the side, so I'll tap the udiometer so those leave. Still have some there. Okay, bubbles are all reaching the top, and we will fill it one last little bit, plug it with our thumb, flip it over, Submerge it under the water, and the water will not fall out. So we'll turn that so it's, you guys can see the measurements as it's going. So now my initial measurement of H2 is zero because there is no H2 whatsoever in the udiometer. And I'm going to insert the tube so that it's not above the surface of the water. Because if it's above the surface of the water, you will empty the tube almost instantaneously. Uh, which would be terrible. And you'd have to refill it and start all over again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill our uh, Erlenmeyer flask with some HCl. Uh, I need some more from the stock, so I'm going to transfer it to this larger flask where you guys are probably going to get your original stock during class. And I'm going to take the HCl, and I'm going to put about 50 milliliters into my flask there, being careful with my thistle tube so I don't break it. So I'm just going to take the and fill the Erlen or fill the uh, smaller Erlenmeyer flask to the 50 line. You see, there's a 50 line there. I don't need to be precise, so I'm just going to fill it to about there and call it good. You can judge me later, and whether that's more or less, I don't care because that is the excess reactant. Okay, um, I'll set that back just for now. And the only final thing I need to do is to grab my 0 0.024 grams of mystery metal. I'm going to bring it all to the side. And what I want to do is I want to put all of this in there as fast as I can so that I don't lose any of the hydrogen. Okay, so I want to pour it all in one fail swoop, and I want to get all of the flakes in there all at once. So, here we go. And stopper the flask. And I should be making hydrogen for my metal right now. The pressure is building up there. I'm going to take a little bit of water. Oh, no, never mind. I don't need to put any water here because I can definitely see the bubbles, so I definitely have an excellent seal. I don't know if you can see this, but as every time there's a bubble, the level in the thistle tube drops back down. And it goes up and down and up and down. You might be able to see it. Who knows? 
But we're going to let that bubble up until we go to completion because the metal will be our limiting reactant and we'll finish from there. Our HCl is an excess reactant, so we can actually reuse that HCl on um, the later trials. And we're just going to keep going until we reach our final volume, which will tell us how many liters of hydrogen we made. And then we can figure out how many moles of metal that was. And after we figure out how many moles of metal that is, we can figure out its molar mass. So now we just wait, 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 wait. Double check for leaks if you need to. It's not working at this point, but this is what it should look like. And we want to go until there are no bubbles left. I don't know if you see this, but there are bubbles right here. So I'm not done yet. I need no bubbles whatsoever being made here and no bubbles being made whatsoever here either. But we can definitely see it slowing down. It's slowing down because there is less metal in there. And we're going to go until it runs out. One more bubble. And we're going to get one more. You can actually check. There's also uh, an air level inside your sink that you might be able to see moving up and down. My bubbles have stopped. My bubbles have stopped in there. So we're done. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the side of the udiometer. And it does read from small numbers to big numbers, so you do have to keep that in mind. And it is by evens. So the middle is not 0.5, it's actually um, 27. So let me give you guys a view of this here. First, we'll go with this camera, and we'll get a nice little view of about where it's at, nice and level. You can see it's just past 26. And then with the other camera that I've got on my phone, you can get, also get a nice little level. I think that one's a little clearer. You can see it's just at the mark past 26, which will be 26.2. 26.2 milliliters, I'll write that down. And we can calculate from there. Now for trial two, do the same thing. We are going to tear. And we're going to get a new set of metal. Just a few flakes, that's all we need. And I might have one too many, but you know what? That's okay. I can still use it. I went over my mark, but we will count it and go from there. I think we're going to use 0 0.032. And I'll take this and we'll move it over to where our deal is. Okay, now here's what's cool. Now I can still use that same exact spot. I started at 26.2. So all I need to do is figure out the difference from where it will end next time. So uh, I'm going to take my metal, which is right here. Finally found it, guys. Okay, I'm just going to open up my flask here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to quickly add it. Make sure I don't lose any, so we'll kind of shake it so that it ends up all in the same spot. This is not being very helpful, and then we're going to go all at once. Okay, here we go. So we don't lose any. And we wait until all the stuff And we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm sure that the flask is completely done. Which is yeah. This flask is in the flask. done. Okay, one, two, small pieces of metal. So you Looks like we're done. You get a nice eye level. View, it's at the line just above 56, which puts it at 56.8. Let me double check that number. No, it's not past 56, it's 55.8. Third and final trial, I feel like you know the drill by now. Put one last on there. Zero it out. Let's try and just get a few flakes this time. Oh, oh, no, it's zero. Go with 0 0.028 on this trial. I saw 0 0.028 first, so we're going to go with that. We're not going to trust the second route. I know it keeps going up, but we're going to call it 0.28 because that's what it stopped at. Setting up for one last trial. I can still start at 58 because this, go this udometer goes to 100. And I'm using less than last time. And I've used just above 20 each time, so I bet I'll have enough room to finish this last one. Okay, so all my pieces of metal are right here. We're going to go for the quick dump, just like so. Not so bad. And there we go. I'm seeing no pressure change, so we're going to call it done. And we're going to get the measurement here, which is going to... Wow, that was tough. Looking like we're at 79.9. Almost 80, not quite. And that's all it for the lab, and now we're just going to calculate. 